Throw me a frickin' bone here. I'm the boss. Need the info. Hey, what's up, guys? Max here. So we're going to be looking at a recap of the live stream. Just short clips of what I felt was important. Uh, some of the things I'll come back in and just kind of explain or just give an opinion on it. Uh, but for the most part, we're going to be seeing small little clips of the entire one hour live stream that happened today. I think a lot of good information, some uh, some good stuff that's coming in for this month of February, the champions uh, kind of just showcase first champion, um, which is Ironheart, which I actually I enjoy. And I think I'm gonna have to get that pre release bundle. I didn't I was gonna try to grind for it. But anywho, let's jump on to the clips and see what info we got Tyler hello welcome I am back. how are you this is called the battle realm uh, roster okay so um, this month we are gonna be seeing dust and Ironheart come in what is that hmm. uh, this month we have a cosmic and a mystic champ okay we're gonna right. have us a science champion and a tech champion mm -hmm. pretty sure thumbs up around the board let's science get ahead of this <laughs> The blank job just... It's, it's the tra okay, it's the train job. It's the train it's job. The train We're train not job. even going to let it... It's uh, so this month we've got a mutant champion showing up. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tip the hat here a little bit on it. Okay. Alpha Flight. Okay. We're going to have a member of Alpha Flight show up in June here. Uh, they're going to go up against a tech villain. One, uh, uh, we've got a science champ and a steel champ. Yeah. Coming up. Uh, I mean, they're very similar to kind of the uh, uh, Eternity of Pain objectives we've done before. So the idea of the objectives is that you get uh, one point towards a solo event for each objective you complete. Mm -hmm. You also get a point for completing the quest itself. Uh, points build up on milestones, uh, and as you hit certain milestones, you get rewards. Um, Fairly simple. Uh, so the way the objectives work really is that we're taking, you know, a subset of the champion pool and asking you to do it with that. So, you know, the base fight might not be that bad. You might have a lot of options to defeat the, the base boss, uh, but the objectives might, you know, make you only able to use Avengers or uh, gods or something like that. Cool. Um, which, you know, we've generally curated and crafted around to have some good choices and some not so good choices. So when it comes to the calendar of this event to be held, we're going to see the dates there, Spring of Sorrow, we got Summer of Suffering, and at Autumn of Agony. So these are the dates and months that we're going to be having the Everest content kind of basically launch, uh, which is funny because they make a reference here on the stream. Check it out. Not only do the months not align with the seasons, mm. but the year doesn't align with the year? Kevin! How dare you? <laughs> Sorry. Now, this is super cool. Uh, this is going to be the Winter of Wool Rewards, which is a different thing that's going on as well that got introduced uh, in the live stream. And we can see the rewards. Basically, they're going to be milestones. Now, typically, we have seen the milestones where we hit them all and we claim all the rewards. But what they're doing this year is they're going to be as soon as we hit the first milestones, we're going to be getting those 10,000 six star shards. And as you can see here on the chart that they release, basically are going to be all the milestones. And uh, they did the Paragon Peak, which is milestone seven, and then the Valiant, uh, which is going to be eight and nine. So you definitely want to be a Valiant player. Make sure you become one if possible again uh, to get and maximize the rewards when it comes to what is being brought for us this month of uh, February uh, uh, introduced in the live stream. Now, one cool thing they did showcase, like I said, Einhardt, I wanted to showcase this footage of what they showed of the deep dive uh, just a clip of what's coming in one of the things you're going to notice here is you're going to notice a single parry this is non-contact parry you can't do that really on onslaught as easy but guess what ironheart can do it the other thing that i noticed on the deep dive uh, again we haven't had a chance for play test uh, this is first previews of what we're getting uh, as a community we see the special two just demolish that onslaught look at the crits 40 40 and i think it was a couple of 20 k's there in the beginning now there's another footage of a wolverine again keep in mind these are like half a million health pools he was at 100 percent health one special two completely nuked this wolverine now i'm guessing this is not going to be a very quick easy setup when it comes to battlegrounds uh because it's just going to take a little bit more time for the ramp up but if she has that potential uh, uh we want to test i want to test when it comes to like a quick one minute fight how much damage can she produce and put out in one minute so i'm excited for iron heart like i said um 
I don't know. For some reason, that champion's calling me, but we have other champions this month as well. So be on the lookout. Uh, let me know, guys, what you think of this little small recap of everything. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys on the live stream. Take care. Peace.